Hi, I'm Suki Kang, the mayor of Irvine. I am so delighted to hear that my friend Beth Crom is receiving such a prestigious award, Harry S. Truman Award. I can't think of a better person who deserved that honor. Throughout her career, she has worked tirelessly to build consensus th by working through people. Under Beth Crom's leadership, the city of Irvine has been recognized as being the safest city in the United States, not once, but four years in a row. Having won five elections in eight years, I've had an extraordinary opportunity to build and sustain a great relationship with the community that I serve, and I'm very fortunate to serve with Larry Agrin and Suki Kang to have a progressive majority in the city of Irvine, which has allowed us to accomplish a great deal in a relatively short period of time. You know, people ask me if I always knew I wanted to run for elected office. The truth is, I really never thought about running for elected office, but my dad was in an interesting career. My dad was an anchorman on television, and I tell people that when I was growing up, if I wanted to see my father, I had to watch the news. And it was the 60s and 70s, a very turbulent time in America, and I think that helped to shape my appreciation for the role of public policy in moving a, a country forward. Irvine being a city of great diversity, a city that embraces education, and a city that has become important in Orange County in a variety of ways. With Beth Crom's forward thinking, education, we always put that on our high priority. We worked on many programs working closely with school district. Beth Crom is a genuine person. She is a caring and giving person. She always worked through people and that's what I really learned so much from her. And I am so happy that she is receiving this award. And as a colleague and as a mayor of Irvine, congratulations on your great achievement. Thank you for honoring me with the Harry S. Truman Award this year. I'm very proud of what I've been able to accomplish in eight years as a member of the city council and as mayor of the city of Irvine. And I'm also very proud to be sharing this honor this year with four extraordinary women, Debbie Cook, Jane Egley, Sharon Quirk, and Rosie Espinoza. As elected Democratic women in Orange County, we've had to form a special bond. Uh, we support one another, uh, inspire each other, and keep each other laughing, which is important in political life. I wish I could be with you this evening in person to accept the honor, but for my 50th birthday, I decided the best thing I could do would be to come to Washington for the inauguration of Barack Obama as our next president. You know, I'm very proud that the city of Irvine supported Barack Obama 57% and voted no on both Proposition 4 and Proposition 8. I do feel I've been part of moving my community forward, and I thank all of you for the work that you're doing to help move Orange County forward. If timing is everything, these eight years have been the perfect time for me to serve in elected office. Who would have guessed when I was out walking with my mom canvassing for George McGovern that it would all lead to this someday? Thank you for putting a cherry on top of eight extraordinary years. I'm honored to be receiving this award from the Democratic Party of Orange County. I thank Frank Barbero, Melahat Raffier, and everyone who I consider friends in the Democratic Party. I look forward to seeing you and celebrating with you when I get back. Thank you.